大家好，冬至快乐，我系东东。Today we are going to make a heartwarming savory rice ball soup, ham tong yun in Cantonese. This is my hometown Cantonese classic dish we will make for our winter solstice festival. I remember making this tong yun with my family growing up, and it's a part of our heritage because tong yun represents the togetherness of the family. The order of adding the ingredients will make each ingredient its best flavor and texture. And there is one family secret ingredient to make the rice ball not soggy in the soup. Let's get started. These are some of the aromatic ingredients: rain-dried shrimps and shiitake mushrooms. Then soak them with drinking water until the shiitake mushrooms are softened. We'll use this water to make the broth. Heat up the mushroom in the microwave for two minutes could speed up the progress. My mom normally uses half of a chicken, but my kids don't like bones, so I'm using drumsticks. Pluck any excess feathers from the skin. Debone the drumsticks by cutting the tendon with your knife underneath the smaller joint. Make a cut by the flat side. Slide down along with the bone. Hold a flash with your hand and separate it using your knife from the bone or tear it off. Put the bone aside for later use. Then cut the chicken into bite size. Leave the skin on for more flavor. Marinate the chicken with one teaspoon of Chinese cooking wine, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one fourth teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of white pepper. Make it thoroughly and add in one teaspoon of sesame oil, and set it aside. For the Chinese style sausage, I only use three of them. Soak them in water for five minutes, and peel off the casing. Cut them into short, thin strips around two and a half inches long. Heat up one cup of hot water. Add 280 grams of glutinous rice flour in a large bowl. Put the rest of the flour aside for possible adjustment. Here comes our family secret ingredient: an egg. Crack it in. Poke through the yolk with a pair of chopsticks or a fork, then mix well with the flour. The protein in the egg white helps to hold the flour together. Use your fingers to help until no more lumps. Pour in hot water a little bit at a time. Then use a pair of chopsticks or a small spatula to mix. Save some water for a possible adjustment. When all the flour is almost mixed into chunks and you feel comfortable to the temperature, you can start knitting. Give it a couple of minutes until you feel that dough is starting to form. Add in some water if it's too dry, or add in a little bit of flour if it's too moist. The dough should form and be ready after a few minutes. If you ever play with Play-Doh, it's very close to that texture, but a little bit tougher. Cover with a wet towel, then set aside. Peel the daikon at least two coats until you don't see any tougher texture. Cut into slices, then cut into around two and a half inches long and a quarter inch thick. Discard the end of Chinese long cabbage. Cut cabbage into two and a half inches long sections. Then slice into quarter inch size as same size as the daikon. Peel the ginger and cut into slices. Minced garlic. Chop the scallions and cilantro. When the shiitake mushrooms are softened, squeeze the water out and drain the water from the dried shrimps. Then set aside. Cut the mushrooms into thin slices. Now everything is ready. We can make the rice ball. Roll the dough into a big long dough on the working surface. Cut it into eight sections. Roll each dough into long tubes that separate into small doughs around eight grams each, with your hand or using a cutter. It does not have to be precise. Keep in mind that the rice ball will become around one third bigger after being cooked. Sprinkle some flour on a plate before putting the rice ball on to prevent sticking. Place a small dough on the center of your paw, pushing onto the dough by your paws and roll it around to form into a ball. Let's try to roll two balls at a time. Put two small doughs on your paw, leave a little space in between, and gently roll them around. 
It's okay if they stick together. We can knit and separate them to try it again. This is the most fun part of making tong yun. Get the kids and family to do it together and have fun with it. Gently place tong yun onto the plate. If they tend to stick together, sprinkle some flour on it and shake the plate back and forth. They should be separated easily. Someone asked me if we can freeze these from last year's video. Yes, you can. You can make extra wrap with food wrap between each layer and put it in the freezer. Once they are all frozen up, you can separate them and put in a Ziploc bag. Okay, now everything is ready. Let's start cooking. You can use a pot or wok as long as it can fill up at least 8 cups of liquid. Heat up the pot, toss in oil, dried shrimp, ginger, minced garlic, 1 teaspoon of salt and chicken drumstick bone. Fry until frequent. Pour in a total of 8 cups of water included the mushroom water we use to soak the mushroom and dried shrimps. Cover with the lid and turn to a boil. Add in radish, shiitake mushrooms, Chinese sausage, and chicken. Cook until boil and skim off the scum from the surface for a clear broth. Scum is a denatured protein. It doesn't have any taste or any harm to us. Turn the stove to medium heat and cook for 5 minutes. Add in the white part of the cabbage first, then the rest and gently put the rice ball on top. Don't stir the rice balls. Just try to even them out and cover with the lid to bring to a boil. While everything is cooking, the cabbage will be softened and sink. When the soup is in the boil, open the lid and try to put the veggies down and the soup is covering the rice balls. Cook for about 2 minutes. Sprinkle scallion and cilantro on top and mix well. Turn off the heat. Give it a taste and add more seasoning if needed. Look at that! The flavor of all the ingredients are so dissolved together. The soup is packed of flavor, and the whole house is with great aromas. Be sure to get your biggest bowl in the house because it won't be enough. The soup is clear and rich in flavor. The rice ball is a perfect size, soft outside and a little chewy inside. The veggie are perfectly cooked, and the mushrooms have absorbed all the natural sweetness from the soup. So perfect and comforting. Thank you for watching. I hope you like our family Ham Tong Yun recipe and try to make it at home with your family. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Bye bye!